Okay, let's look at the problem that deals with entropy, free energy, and enthalpy. So you have here the reaction of ammonia with hydrochloric acid to produce ammonium chloride. This is spontaneous at room temperature. Now, determine the temperature at which it is long, no longer spontaneous given the enthalpy as negative 176.8 kilojoules per mole and the delta S is equals to negative 285.44 joules per k mole. So we have this formula. Okay, so give free energy is equals to enthalpy minus temperature times S. Now remember, okay, when you have a negative S, H and a negative uh, S, most likely there will be two conditions of your delta G, okay? At low temperature, this is a negative and this will be spontaneous, but at high temperature, okay, this will become a positive, okay? Just like the case that we have here. So we need to get the temperature where in Okay. Uh, the value will be negative. So what's the boundary between negative and positive? Is it equals to zero? So if we assign the value of zero here, so we will have delta H, so I forget the So rearranging this one, so we have P delta S equals to delta H divided by delta S on both sides. So you will get the temperature. So that is the temperature, okay? Below it, it is spontaneous and above it, it is going to be non-spontaneous. Now, you have to be careful with the units. So you have here the sign negative 176.8 kilojoules per mole. Now, on the other hand, the one that is given here is what? 285.4, but it is in joules, okay, more. So we have to convert that. We can divide it with a thousand joules per kilojoules, okay? So in this case, we cancel the joules, we cancel the moles, we cancel the kilojoules, and the unit that we have is just Kelvin. And we also cancel the negative sign in the, uh, both the numerator and the denominator. And if you're going to do the calculation, you will get an answer that is around 619 Kelvin.